No, I went. You farted. <laughs> you farted. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to take questions from the internet. Who wants to go first? The whole internet. The whole internet, the interwebs. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a talk show. Who wants to go first? This episode. Pick one randomly, a random question. All right. You get to start. This one is from Veronica M. Do you take Venmo? We really love the shirts. Hey, do we? I don't know that one. <laughs> do we? We do now. We can, uh, uh, yeah, Cash is king. <laughs> no, we. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna take yet because we don't have a merch shop. When we do, maybe, maybe Venmo. Probably credit. I'm sure credit cards. Maybe Venmo. Maybe PayPal. We're not really sure, but we'll let you know on Facebook and all that fun jazz. Do you take Venmo on your uh, OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> you want yeah, to go next? You want to find out. You want to answer that one for Veronica M again? <laughs> this is from uh, Bruce B. What is the most underrated metal band in your opinion and why? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Underrated? Underrated. underrated. Overrated would be a much easier question to answer. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I kind of think Seven Dust. I, I don't think they're. I think they're really talented, and uh, they don't get enough credit. That'd be my opinion. I'm gonna go with Ginger. I love Ginger. Like just this petite little cute girl that can sing like an angel and then all of a sudden she sings like the devil and, and you never expect it you, you don't expect yeah. it dude watch some of the reaction videos for ginger people lose their minds but not only that the band itself is like the band the band itself and ginger is just unbelievable yes. like the timings that they have and just they have the craziest sound yeah, they their, do. their bassist is insane. Is in, well, yeah, yeah, the bassist is nuts. And like, like towards the end of like a few songs, or even you know, there'll be sections of their songs where they'll just totally switch genre, and it's just like so like, <laughs> yeah. it's you know, crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and their songs are all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, song released in uh, January twentieth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think Nickelback is actually the most <laughs> underrated. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think that's the most underrated metal thing. I think the most underrated one is the Wiggles. The Wiggles. Yeah. I don't know. I think they get all the accolades. Wow. And since we're talking about Nickelback, you know what concert only costs forty-five cents? Nickelback with fifty cent. <laughs> That's a total bad joke. <laughs> Who wants to go next? Pick one. Pick a random one. Here's, here's Mike. Not all of you. You are right. the father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's from Mark S. Where and when is merch going to be available? I think probably release date or you know sometime close we don't really have a date that we talked about yeah well, we haven't really i mean we've, we've got all the merch set up right yeah like, it is all set up but i think it would make sense for release date and at least try to get it for that uh we do have uh etsy all set up all that stuff but... oh 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 <laughs> Actually, the best way for you to get merch currently is to go do a duet video with me on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, and you can win one. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you guys don't, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do it. Walk the walk. 
Yeah, dude. Hey. Who hasn't done one yet? Eddie. Oh, yeah, I'll do one. Wait. Which is that one? Pick one. There's two left. Oh, I guess it, I guess that one's mine. <laughs> what inspiration? Oh, this is from Pixie Foot Acres. Shout out. What inspiration do you draw from when you write your songs? Hmm. Well, well, for me, I think it's. <laughs> my wife would say it'd be her, but um, some. Well, it is, but sometimes uh, it depends on what I'm listening to, too. You know, like what band, like what style. I try to listen to as much as I can, whatever I like. So, you know, I kind of try to draw from that, and then wherever. Wherever my brain or my fingers take me, I guess, for guitar aspect, but anybody else have like input on that or no? Yeah? Whatever wherever wherever I land on. Personally for me, lyrically, I draw inspiration from life's hardships. Whatever because what the life let's face it, life is hard and it throws a lot of crap in your path. And some people navigate it easily and some people don't and i like to kind of touch on those topics and offer some sort of light at the end of the tunnel in the lyrical content you know so like yeah you know it's it's uncomfortable to deal with the topic of drug addiction or the topic of domestic abuse or the the topic of betrayal or and all of those things but they're real life things they happen to everybody in one aspect or another. And if it didn't happen to you, it happened to somebody that you cared about. So, yeah, we touch on those uncomfortable topics, but lyrically, I always try to offer a light at the end of that tunnel. So, you know, the, the story is told with the conclusion of being to overcoming that sort of roadblock, if you will. That's all I would say. Anybody else? Like sausages, right? You get your inspiration from sausages. <laughs> I guess the last question is uh, for me. From Dawn L. How do you know when to call a song finished? Uh, I would say, for me personally, I, I don't. The song tells me when it's finished. The song decides. You know, it's kind of like, you ever watch a movie where you're like, my movie was so good, but the ending was just kind of dumb. It left you up in the air. It yeah. just didn't feel like it finished. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you kind of just wait for the song to let you know that it's done. That's why we're going to write alternate endings to all of our songs. <laughs> <laughs> alternate endings, yeah. You know, like so many people get locked into this thing where they're like, you know, oh, it, oh, the song's six minutes long, six minutes long or seven minutes long, that's too long. Yeah, that's right. And, I think we're kind of all on the same page with the fact that, like, you know, I don't care how long the song is, it's done when it's done. We, you know, we got an 8 minute and 19 second song. Stay tuned for that one. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> but it's over when it's over, right? I mean... Yeah, absolutely. Let the song dictate it. Exactly. Anybody else? Hey, cross the line. Cross the line, January 20th. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Love you. Out of my head, baby. www.omhband.com. You can hub to all of our social medias, including YouTube. And uh, cross the line, January 20th. Much more to come. Stay A whole lot more to come. <laughs>